Hi, church family. I hope you're having a good week. And I wanted to just share a few things with you before uh, we do a song and then I pray. There will not be a study in this video on 1 Corinthians because in our uh, meeting here in person at the church building, uh, the last time that was a couple Wednesdays ago, we did not finish with the material. So uh, we'll try to get back on track next week as far as doing the study on our video. But uh, just a couple things tonight. First of all, some announcements. Uh, I encourage everyone to make sure that you're grabbing a bulletin on Sunday so that you can stay updated on all that's going on. Uh, so here are the things. A week from this Friday, so that ends up being Friday, January 12th, is our next men's pizza night. So we will meet at 7 o'clock. Uh, we'll be having Papa John's. We ask everyone to bring a few dollars to offset the cost. And uh, we'll have a, a short devotional at the end of it. So looking forward to that. I encourage all of our men to be there. High schoolers are also invited. And please invite anyone uh, that could benefit just from being together as brothers in Christ. Uh, also, then, I believe everyone knows that our annual meeting is on January 31st. That's a Wednesday night at 7 o'clock. So all of our members are invited, obviously. And... Uh, specifically, the annual meeting is always about our budget for the next year, but then also we will be including, and so members will be voting on that, discussing it and voting on it, uh, but we will be including also uh, getting the uh, our church family's opinion on whether to change our schedule from uh, what it is now to 945 Sunday school, 11 o'clock worship service being done at 1215, just to kind of... Um, Again, get everybody's opinions on whether they agree with that or not, and then the elders will prayerfully consider kind of where we are on that. Non-members are invited to be a part of that uh, because it's not an official vote. It is just so that the elders can get a perspective on where our church family is and then prayerfully and pastorally consider where we go from there. So that's the 31st. Also encourage you to look at your bulletins as far as the Take Them a Meal ministry that has been started. And I believe that the sign-up sheet is still available. So uh, if it's not, I haven't even looked out in the lobby out here, but if it's not, you can catch Missy Lamb for that. So uh, we appreciate that. And uh, I believe that's it as far as all of the announcements that are going on. So uh, I'm going to transition now to uh, our song that just want to bless you with. It is the song that we sang this last Sunday morning together as a church family, two songs together, Holy, 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 and Only a Holy God. So I do these so that you can be blessed because it's kind of a different atmosphere or whatever than just me putting a song on uh, of a video from YouTube and putting the words up. It's actually our church family singing. So I think there's an interesting connection there. So I encourage you to watch it, be blessed, sing along if you'd like. So here it is, Holy, 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 and Only a Holy God.
Thanks for listening to that. I hope it was a blessing to you. I think it's really appropriate for where we are in 1 Samuel right now, going all the way back to Hophni and Phinehas with their disregard for God's holiness, Eli's contribution to that. What we studied in chapter 4 about the Israelites thinking that the Ark of the Covenant was a lucky charm and that God could be manipulated. Moving into chapter 5, where we will be this next Sunday, about how God in his holiness and in vindication of his glory does things to the Philistines. So a reverence for God's holiness is a big deal. And those two songs, one, obviously, as you know, older, one newer, really capture that very well. So I hope you were blessed by it. Going to have a, mo a few moments now to pray together as a church family, those who are watching. Uh, again, I encourage you to make sure that you're looking at your bulletin to keep up with the prayer requests. As always, if you have prayer requests, you can let me know so we can put them on the prayer chain. You're welcome if you're on the prayer chain to just put them on on your own. Uh, and uh, let me know any other way. Catch me on a Sunday or whatever. Text me so that we can get those in the bulletin or however would be most appropriate. But I do want to point you to one specifically that is in our bulletin. That is that Penny Smith is having knee surgery. I believe it's ne this next Monday. So that would be January 8th. So we want to be praying for her. Uh, so let me go to the Lord now in prayer. And uh, I uh, encourage you to pray along with me. We want to come to you, Father, now and really, really recognize and worship you for your holiness. It is a wonderful and attractive and good thing for those of us who have been brought into a positional holiness and made right with you and given your son's righteousness. It should be terrifying for those who are not in Christ, but thank you that by your mercy, by your sovereign mercy, you have brought into um, us into that so that we uh, are holy, but then are bringing holiness into completion and love your holiness. And I pray that that would engender a reverence for you in all of our lives and uh, desire for your glory to be known, for others to see, for it to be our goal and our satisfaction for you are indeed most glorified in us when we are most satisfied in you. And so we worship you for that. We worship you for all else. You are worthy of all of our worship and our praise and just all of our lives, everything we are and do. And even as 1 Corinthians 10, 31 says, whether we're eating or drinking or whatever we're doing, we're doing all to your glory. And uh, your, your glory is evident in creation, even as the days are getting longer and we've had some sunny days here and there. Spring, we know, is coming in the next months. Uh, it's evident in relationships, husbands and wives, parents and children, uh, church family members who love each other and forgive and forbear. Um, it's evident in technology that you allow even unsaved people to develop. It's just evident everywhere. So we look into the far reaches of space as we look down to the most minute things in life. We are aware of your glory, your greatness, your power, and we give you glory for that. We love you and worship you, and treasure you, and want our the fullness of our satisfaction in you to be increased more and more, so that the things that we think we would find satisfaction in become less and less in our affections. So uh, we worship you. We also want to confess the sins that are in our lives, even since this last Sunday when we were together. We uh, know that we've sinned since then, and we come to you in uh, confession and repentance really rejoicing in the fact that you are always willing to forgive and you don't hold our sins against us. You never will hold our sins against us positionally in Christ. He's absorbed them all. He satisfied your wrath. And thank you that you've given us this gift as your dearly loved children to continue throughout our lives to confess and help us never to think of that as something to be shunned, but to, but to be embraced. We also just thank you for the, the small things and the large things, ways that you demonstrate your faithfulness, Thank you for all of those. Uh, I see that in my family, in my own personal life. I see it in our church family. Thank you for all the ways that you're blessing this church, and we give you glory for that. And we also want to give our requests and needs to you, so I do that uh, now. We especially pray for Penny, that you will bless her as she is uh, approaching her knee surgery. May this fix the issues with her knee, help her in her recovery for that to be quick and really strengthen the knee after the surgery. Thank you that we can trust you in those things. Um, thinking also of Tim Beal as he's moving beyond the time when he had the procedure down in Arizona, that it really will work to give him some relief in his shoulder. 
also for Asher as he's continuing to recover from his burns. Uh, we think of our local ministries here for the Compass, all that's going on there. ABC Life Choices Center, uh, Arctic Barnabas, Alaska Christian College, and New Hope Counseling Center. Uh, the prison, prison ministry at Wildwood, uh, the Friendship Mission. So we pray for all of those. We pray for our missionaries abroad that you will give them gospel advances even today. For uh, the Wilhelmsons and the Baylisses and the Gustafsons, we think of them especially with all that's going on in Ukraine. For the Galays in Nepal, I think also of uh, Frontline Missions, you will bless them. And uh, thank you that we can have the privilege of supporting all of them financially and by prayer. So help us never to forget them in either of those ways. Uh, for just all of our church family, whether it's emotional things or physical things, maybe things that we don't even know about, I pray that you will minister to our family, church family, even today in meaningful ways. Help people who really need to know your presence, your power, um, the realities of Jesus to really know how much you love them today. Thank you most of all that Jesus has paid the penalty for our sins after living a life of perfection and he's risen from the dead. And we love you. We give all these things to you in his precious name. Amen. Thank you, everyone. And I look forward to seeing everyone this Sunday. It is Communion Sunday, as it is the first Sunday of the month. We're looking forward to that. And I hope you have a great rest of your week. Goodbye.